What I'm going to be testing today is this uh, gas leak detector. Uh, it's called Top Test. Uh, that's a brand. The model number is PT520B+. This one is, uh, there's a couple of different ones. Uh, I'm not going to try to explain all of them, but this one here uh, is rechargeable with a USB port. And uh, it's a combustion combustible gas leak detector. Okay, this is for natural gas. This is for propane. Uh, you could even detect gasoline and things like that. There's a whole list of stuff that it does. It will also detect carbon monoxide. But it's really not a good carbon monoxide tester because it only goes down to 50 parts per million. And a carbon... Uh, monoxide detector should go much lower than that. It will detect it and you know of course if uh, if it does detect it you've got to deal with the, with the uh, uh, carbon monoxide but uh, I don't recommend it for use in vent pipes or anything like that. I, you know it'll it'll detect stuff if it's really bad but if it's if it's not too bad it won't it's, it's not reliable so I wouldn't want to do that. This is true of, about all of these combustible gas leak detectors. I'm not going to go over too much about it, you know, with the way it works and stuff. It, you know, read the, the uh, instructions with it. But what I wanted to do was actually test it and see how it compares. And here, I've got an old back rack that's a Leakator 10, uh, which is a far, far more expensive product than this one. Uh, and we'll see how these things compare when I'm testing things. Now, you want to test small leaks because big leaks, obviously, they, you know, it's easy to tell. Oh, gee whiz, a big bubble comes out of there, you know, obviously that's a leak. Uh, but I want to test it for, for small leaks. And one of the things that I do when I test for small leaks is I put it up against the outlets of uh, pilot tubes or something like that. Um, or maybe the main gas uh, coming off the gas valve. Because sometimes these things have small leaks in them. And it's a good way to test these things to see how well they do. So I've got a setup here. Now this is just a little heater. There's a pilot here. And... Uh, the gas valve is down here, and so what I'm going to check is I'm going to check. This thing is off now. Gas is supplied to it, but the thermostat is not calling for heat. So I'm going to want to determine if there's a leak in the pilot tube. Now here's the pilot tube here. It goes up to where the pilot assembly is, and sometimes these things leak. So let's check this out. Now I'm going to fire up both of these leak detectors. And they need to be fired up in, in uh, clear air. If you have a lot of uh, uh, possible gas, uh, combustible gas around it, it's not a good idea to try to uh, set it up there. I'm going to put these things over this way a little bit just to be sure that they're not affected. So, okay, and it takes a little while for these things to figure out what's going on. Uh, they have to calibrate to the ambient. Okay, both of these are set up. The back rack's beeping. The other one's showing a zero, zero. It's in parts per million. And uh, now we're going to go up and I'm going to check this pilot assembly. So this gas valve does not have the thermostat on, so it's not calling for heat, but there's gas available to it. Now, I'm wondering if the pilot assembly is leaking. That's this tube right going up there to the pilot. So let's see. Okay, it has a leak. It's going up. 400 now starts beeping okay so there's a leak at least that one's showing a leak let's see what the back rack does
Okay, the back rack's also showing a leak in it. And it's a pretty good size leak. So that's actually leaking by. Okay, now here we're set up with a gas valve. Okay? Uh, just like we did with this other one, but this is just a different valve. This is your main gas coming out of here. This is your pilot. So let's see, uh, there's, it's not powered or anything, so let's see if there's any leakage in the pilot. Okay, you can see that one, it's big time, it's uh, 990, 90, 90, 90, lots, there's a lot of leak there. Okay, we'll check the, uh, okay, a lot of leak there with the back rack too. I'm going to let these things settle down because uh, it takes a little while for them to get back to normal after they've sensed a leak. Okay, I'm going to check here. Now this is main gas. Do we have a leak there? Okay, I'm not showing anything on the top test. Okay, we're going to check with the back rack. Okay, now you notice it's detecting a little bit of a leak there. Now that's a very, very small leak, but it is detecting a leak where the top test didn't. Now, uh, that is a very small leak. When we looked at this one here, and that thing goes Looney Tune. Let's take a little bit of soap bubbles here, and we'll see what, how, what size that leak is. Okay, you see that? It's a pretty good sized leak. So, the top test got the pilot leak pretty well, but this one not. Now, does that mean that the top test isn't any good? Well, it really doesn't, uh, because that's, that leak is so small, even if I went to the manufacturer and I said, I get this, this leak out of this gas valve, they'd say, it's normal. Uh, because it, uh, gas valves can leak just a little bit. Uh, Manufacturers always have little escape routes here when, when you go after them. So uh, that probably would be considered legal. So, okay, did this thing perform well? Yeah, I think it did. It performed pretty good. Uh, tiny leaks, it may not catch very well. The leak uh, that was up here... That was actually a pretty small leak too, but it uh, it did detect it. Uh, what I should probably tell you is when you're using these things, and it's any of these these tools, uh, there's a few things you should right, really know. Uh, these things will detect the general area where a leak is. And they can, they can tell, you know, if there's a leak somewhere, but it doesn't pinpoint it. This is what pinpoints it. Uh, you always have to have that stuff with you. Uh, that double checks everything uh, to be sure you're right. There's one other test I thought we might do, 
and that is one this this test I'm going to do I can't do with salt bubbles that's the shaft of this uh, gas valve sometimes these gas valve shafts leak let's see if this one does Now I'm leaving this thing on a little bit longer than I would normally because you can't get up close to the shaft. Now, if you look at this thing, it's not showing anything at all. I'll try the uh, back rack. Got to get it fired up again. I'm not seeing anything there. Okay, when you're doing a gas valve like this, this is, this is kind of good to do. This is just general information. You need to be checking things like this, uh, where that uh, fitting is, where these fittings are here. Check all this stuff. As long as you're checking around the gas chain, you want to check that. And a general check, here's a regulator here, not a bad idea to check there, and so on. Pretty much put it everywhere around there. So it gives you a pretty good idea of whether there's a problem. And I talked briefly about CO. Uh, you don't generally put it in a vent pipe because uh, sometimes the numbers are lower than you'd expect. Uh, you know, this has got to have 50 parts per million before it's ever going to detect anything. So uh, it's not good for that. And 50 parts per million, whereas it's not going to kill you right away, I want to know it's there. So anyway, let's do a couple other checks of, uh, of this thing with different types of fuels and see how it does. Okay, here we have a container of diesel fuel. Ah, uh, oops, oh, great, messy. It does start showing uh, diesel fuel's not all that volatile, so it doesn't show right off. Let's try gasoline. Yeah, it's right off the bat. Gasoline's a lot more volatile. Okay, the last check I'm gonna do here, this is a uh, diesel tractor. I put it next to the exhaust, it's gonna show CO. I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. Okay, actually it took a little while before it sensed it, but it, it did show it. So, is this thing any good? Uh, actually, I kind of like it. Uh, it's smaller, a uh, bunch less cheap, a uh, bunch cheaper, but uh, not quite the sensitivity of the uh, back rack, but I would trust it. I think it's going to do a good job. Uh, these things in general, if they work well, are really great for service tech. Uh, the, the ease of use, the ability to use the things, uh, you know, like on gas valves where you can't really squirt water or soap bubbles. Uh, in there, sometimes they'll find leaks that you can't find any other way.
it did kind of fail on that one test with the gas valve but boy it's it's pretty close it's it's pretty close so is it any good I think it's pretty good I don't know about longevity uh, it may be fine that way there's no way for me to test any of that stuff but it does work and it, it'd be a good addition to a toolbox that's it on this one.